empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of fear tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flying It's Sunday, December 22nd here at the West End Gun Club. It's just before six o'clock. And I'm here at the Rimfire Range early to get stuff set up for our NRL 22 match, which we're holding today. The, uh, so I need to hurry up and get stuff going. Um, Check-in should be at 7.30, but I need to go ahead and run to the contents container, grab some props. Need to start laying out the targets and the given bays or, or areas of the uh, range to where we're going to set up for each stage. And I'm looking up because this bird keeps flying above me underneath the overhang. Um, probably attract a bit of light that I have going on here, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start getting the work and uh, we'll see if we can get everything set up before people arrive. I think I don't think I showed it last time I used this, but this is the Mo Milwaukee light that I had last time I was out in the range. But um, it's uh, kind of a directional flood and you can just move it in various, you know, orientations as far as angles. And it's, uh, it's off their M18 in Milwaukee's M18 or M18 lithium battery series or their... 18 volt series so it's pretty cool um, it can run off regular power if you want to use it at home or in the garage or whatever you can just hook up power cable to it but it's pretty bright as you can see and it has adjustable um, adjustable power set output settings so it's kind of off and then high medium and low but we'll just put on high it's supposed to last a couple hours on high I think two or three over the safety brief. Um, so most important thing today is safety, all right? Um, so let's make sure if you see anything that's unsafe or dangerous, um, everybody's a or uh, a range officer, so make sure to address it. Don't let it happen because that's how injuries happen. Range is hot. Eyes and ears. So I'm just loading up some mags right now. We did a long check-in process. Uh, a lot of little details, but thankfully the uh, other match director showed up to assist. And uh, we got people checked in and zeroing right now and I'm loading my mags. Uh, we have 25 shooters, uh, a lot more than I expected. Thought we were only gonna have like about 10, but people signed up last minute like the very last day, like on Friday and Saturday. So we have a full house, so we're gonna run three squads and uh, we'll see how this goes. But a good turnout. You ready? Yep. Stand by. Ready? 
The match is all complete and I'm about to head out of the range. I didn't record an outro, like a little segment, because we're trying to do cleanup. We're trying to uh, trying to get all scores synced up together and all the devices because we just practice score on like three devices and we had three squads. We had a lot more shooters than we expected, which is great. I mean, we had 24 total, um, 21 registered online. We had some walk-ons, but some people withdrew um, because they had to leave. But it's fine. I mean, I thought, honestly, up until Friday night, because uh, I've had the registration open for almost a month, we only had about 11 people, 10 people, 10 people, 11 people. So it's like, fine, that's cool. You know, 10 people is enough to do a match. But then out of nowhere on Friday and Saturday, we had, it filled up to 20 plus people or 20 people. And I capped it at 20. So I opened up a little bit more so people can register. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. I will have to work out logistics because I'm not sure if we should have, like if we need to cap it at a certain amount because it was doable and we can do all five stages, courses, five courses of fire in, this, in the, uh, five stages in the course of fire in an ample amount of time. Um, so maybe we'll leave it up, you know, to go more than 20, 24, 25 people. It should be fine. We should be able to fit everyone on the range. Uh, Unfortunately, this practice score scoring didn't work out such that it didn't tally all the scores. Like, it had all the scores for everyone, but for some reason, it didn't add the scores. So we're sitting there like, well, 
we're trying to add it all up and trying to get it to add, but it didn't work. So rather than waiting around trying to add all the scores, we just said, hey, we're going to um, publish it tonight. So we'll email all the shooters tonight. And unfor it's unfortunate we couldn't tell people what the scores, the winning scores were right after the match, but it is what it is. But we'll work, we'll work out the bugs. But I'm very happy that we had a good turnout. We were gonna. Sh I was gonna shoot three more courses of fire. We had three additional stages. But we decided not to, considering there's so many people that came to the match, and it was gonna take us a lot longer to refactor because we had to, you know, get all the targets moved, and then re give everyone the new stages of fire to shoot. So um, we'll probably save those up for like a regional match or something, and we'll probably stick with the five, the standard five course uh, stages in the course of fire for every month, rather than keep adding more. Um, but again, we're, it's a learning experience, so w there are a couple other bugs, but we'll figure it all out, and I'm just happy that we got this match going to have a monthly NRL 22 match at the West End Gun Club. Um, so I've got all my, I've got a mess in the back of the Jeep right now, so I was just so tired, and starting the wind was picking up, oh thank God, um, there was a wind advisory for today, and it was supposed to hit like 10, uh, 10 miles an hour in the morning and 15 to 20 later in the mid-morning. But it was dead on wind pretty much. Maybe at most three miles an hour, four miles an hour on wind. So we lucked out and it didn't pick up right until we finished. So once we started packing up all the gear and getting all the props put away, it started to pick up in the wind. So I would like to thank God for that as far as uh, the wind not being bad during today's match for our first match. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna go stop by and get some Starbucks or something and go home and get something to eat and then um, kind of get all my gear cleaned up and uh, all my stuff kind of squared away. But got my gun, that's all that really matters, make sure I didn't leave my gun, but we swept the range and made sure we didn't leave any gear behind, so. But I need to get all my stuff sorted out because I, everything's just a mess and thrown in the back seat. Uh, so that's it for the range vlog. Uh, try to get some footage in there, not much. It's kind of hard when you're trying to sh run the match, coordinate, run logistics and then shoot the match yourself to like get all the cameras set up so it is what it is but i appreciate you guys for watching and if you're interested come out to the match um matches here at west end gun club nrl 22 fourth sunday of the month we should be running one january and i think that's the weekend after shot show so we'll definitely be running that uh so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog